Good afternoon guys, I hope you're doing well. So today is your final criteria, um, it's your final lesson if you like for unit 6 and we're going to be looking at um, the different um, services provided um, within the health and within the health and social care in the UK. So the aim for today is to understand health and social care services. Okay, so our learning outcomes are to know the different types of health and social care services provided in the UK and then to understand the interrelationship that exists between these services. Okay, we're going to ignore that because you've got no assignment brief. Okay, so your first activity, so if you can put this in the comment section, that would be great, is to list out all the ways that you think healthcare is delivered in the UK. Okay, so once you've done that, can you also list different healthcare services? So two things, you're listing the ways that it's delivered, and then can you list different healthcare services? Okay, so health and social care services. People use health and social care services throughout their lives. Okay, so think about it. When a baby is born, um, the baby is um, born through, um, mostly through the help of someone delivering a health service, the health service being delivery. Um, most babies, at least in the UK, tend to be born either in a hospital or at home through the help of a midwife or at least someone that knows what they're doing. So from your birth to the day that you die, you are using um, health and social care services. Okay, so health and social care services are extremely important. So throughout your life, um, whether you're going to school, needing to go to the GP, needing help from um, the police officers, fire service, um, all of that is health and social care. So the needs of an individual may vary according to their life stage and types of conditions that they have. So we have different types of health and social care needs. Um, so what I, what I need um, in order to have good health and well-being obviously will differ from what you need. And what I need at um what I needed as a teenager is completely different to what I now need um in kind of my middle life. I'm trying not to tell you how old I am. <laughs> and um what I need today is going to be completely different to what I need as a 50 year old woman. Okay. So whilst everyone needs health and social care from the day they are born to the day that they die the kind of care that you need changes as um, you go through different stages um, in your life. But also, um, health and social care isn't necessarily um, what you need when you are unhealthy, when you're poorly. So even a healthy individual may need to use services, for instance, immunisation, for instance, going to school. Yeah, education is part of health and social care. Okay, so education is, um, yeah, I've said that, is part of um, social care. Also, think about stuff like checkups. Okay, so you don't have to be poorly to go to your dentist, to go to your GP for a checkup, and that is healthcare um, being delivered. So, health and social care services support people from, yes, I've said that, from conception to the end of their life. Okay, so all I'm just going around and saying is that health and social care is important. You need it from day one to day 90, 93, whenever you die, and you need varied kinds of health and social care at different stages in your life. And you don't always, you don't necessarily always need health and social care when you are poorly. Okay, right, so there are two types of health and social care delivery. Um, there is the formal and then the informal. Now the formal is split into three, which is why we're actually saying that health and social care is divided into four categories. Okay, so within our formal we have statutory delivery, private delivery, voluntary delivery, and then obviously we have informal 
um, delivery of health and social care. Okay, so you ask, what are these? Okay, so your statutory, and these are services that are paid for, provided by, and that are provided by the government, for instance, our National Health Service. So you're entitled to them because they're already paid for through your tax paying. So things like um, school nursing, um, social services, education, early year services, um, other examples are the police, fire services. These are all statutory services that we are entitled to as citizens of the United Kingdom or residents that live within the United Kingdom. Uh, on the other hand, private um, health and social care, these are services that are run as a business to make a profit. Okay, so they're still delivering health and social care. Okay, but it's an option that you have uh, if you've got the money to pay for it. So for instance, private hospitals, residential home, private nurseries, um, bodyguards, if you like. So if you wanted uh, protection that you would get from the police as statutory, if you said, okay, I want something that's more to me, you could pay for a bodyguard or private security, okay? But you've got to remember that these are services that are run for the for the main purpose of making a profit, okay? Uh, and then we have voluntary services. These are services that are provided by non-profit making organisations that um, they're quite often registered as a charity. We have companies or organisations rather like Age Concern, Mencap, um, NSPC, C. Um, so again, they provide services very similar to what statutory provide, yeah, and private, but unlike private, they are non-profit making organisations um, that do the same thing that they both do. And then we have the informal delivery. This is a type of provision of care that is usually carried out by people who just want to help others, okay? So they it's usually unpaid, it's not for profit, uh, it's not for non-profit, it's just because they want to. So for instance, we've got local church, you could have a mosque, you could have a temple, um, babysitting groups, relatives, okay? So I mean, the example that we used with delivery, there have been times that people have been, um, had their babies delivered by their mum or their husband. Um, so in that, at that point, they were delivering, they were um, offering a health and social care service uh, but it was done in an informal setting so we have local churches that <clears throat> could serve as school nurseries um, local churches that and provide education yeah so they're still again doing um, the things that statutory would do but they're doing it on an informal basis okay so those are the four ways that health care health and social care I should say rather, is delivered in the UK, mainly statutory stuff that you're entitled to as a citizen or resident of the United Kingdom. And we've got private organisations also providing health and social care, but with the aim of making money, making profit. You've got voluntary organisation, which are registered, very similar to the informal. However, this is done within a formal setting and they tend to be registered charities or registered non-profit organisations, okay? And then we have the informal, okay? So I hope that's clear.